Welcome to this DJ DevCorp tutorial on laminating ADEX and SUEX dry lithographic films onto rigid and flexible silicon, glass, and copper clad substrates using inexpensive office pouch laminators such as the Sky 335R6 or the GBC H600 Pro. This five part tutorial gives you the essential information you need to start laminating ADEX and SUEX films onto your substrates. All pre cut ADEX and SUEX films are delivered vacuum sealed into a clear outer pack. Inside this pack is a black, opaque, conductive polyethylene bag labeled with the film type and thickness. To open the package, be sure that you are in a yellow light area and cut above the black plastic bag and below the vacuum seal line. You'll need. Then, use your fingers to gently remove the black bag and the backing square. Next, Double check the film thickness and film expiration date, as well as a label describing how the individual films are labeled and removed. Note that ADEX and SUEX films are labeled differently. To access your films, gently use your fingers to remove the films from the black bag. You can safely handle the films because both sides of each film are covered with removable protective plastic sheets. After selecting your films, save the bags and backing for unused film storage. When handling individual films, do not use wafer tweezers, as they can crack and deform the films. Always handle your films with your fingers. While handling your films, note that ADEX and SUEX films have different labeling conventions. ADEX films have clear protective sheets with one side labeled with a red X and the other side labeled with the thickness specific color. In contrast, SUEX films have their protective sheets unmarked, where one side is clear and the other is hazy. This is because one side has been treated to prevent SUEX films from sticking to each other. Since substrates are typically laminated with the hazy side up, it also makes it easy to detect laminated substrates. Use reflections from the overhead lights to identify the different sides. You must now set up the laminator. First, position 3-inch high platforms next to the entry and exit sites. Then, remove the laminator heat shield. Next, inspect the front and back rollers for particles. Clean the rollers with a particle-free clean room wipe wetted with acetone. Start unheated roller rotation, then wipe back and forth as the rollers slowly rotate. Be sure to clean both the front and the back rollers. Once you have cleaned the rollers, set the laminator set point temperature, start the rollers, then wait 10 minutes for the temperature to stabilize. Once the laminator temperature readout stabilizes, feed a calibrated junction thermocouple into the rollers, then stop the rollers. After the external temperature meter reading stabilizes, adjust the laminator set point to match the meter. Next, time a paper sheet's passage through the rollers. The target feed speed is about one foot per minute. With the laminator calibrated, you must now prep your substrates. Virgin silicon wafers only require a dehydration bake, but used wafers require a hot piranha clean followed by acid residue neutralization and oxygen plasma cleaning. New and used glass substrates should be cleaned in hot piranha, followed by acid residue neutralization and an oxygen plasma clean. Finally, copper clad substrates require an acid etch, followed by acid neutralization and an oxygen plasma clean. Next, inspect your lamination components. An aluminum carrier covered with a mylar sheet, an unattached mylar spacer sheet, an uncoated and smooth carrier surface, and optional shims for processing glass substrates and thick wafers. A mylar sheet coating the carrier back, tape holding the front side mylar sheet, and your 8X or SUEX film and your substrate. Before laminating your substrate, check the carrier and the mylar sheets for particles. Particles will create bumps in your laminated films. If you find particles, clean the carrier and sheets with acetone and a clean room wipe. After cleaning, place the carrier on the laminator feed entrance and fold the cover sheet over the rollers. You are now ready to remove your film's top protective sheet. For ADEX film, place the number side 
down. Catch the plastic protective sheet edge with a razor blade, then hold that edge while peeling back the sheet. If you have Sue X film, place the hazy side down. Catch the plastic protective sheet edge with a razor blade, then hold that edge while peeling back the sheet. Next, place your substrate two to four inches from the carrier edge. Then place the spacer sheet on top of the substrate, leaving about one centimeter of the substrate's leading edge exposed. Place the film with the exposed film side down on the spacer sheet. Center it on the substrate and press down on the leading edge for five to 10 seconds to tack down the film. Then, while pressing down on the film, readjust the spacer sheet position. When done, you should see a wet mark. This shows that the film is in contact with the substrate. Check that your spacer sheet is about one centimeter from the substrate edge. If you can't easily see the edge, use a Sharpie to mark the edge. Then start the rollers and use both hands to feed the carrier into the rollers. And when the rollers grab the leading edge, you must hold back the spacer sheet. Here is a demo of this technique. You must use the same technique for all substrates regardless of size and shape, such as this large silicon wafer. In addition, square and glass substrates require special techniques. For square substrates, you must lead with a corner. For all glass substrates and thick substrates, you must use shims to prevent substrate and film damage. These shim strips help the rollers get onto the substrate without stressing the edges. Once you've completed a lamination, check the film for defects. Any bumps or debris on the cover sheet or the rollers can transfer those shapes into your laminated film. Small bumps and pits can be fixed by placing your substrate into a 50 to 65 degree C oven for 10 minutes with the top film cover still on. After your oven bake, cool your substrate on a stack of wipes. Do not force cool. If you see a ring of SUEX, then SUEX is leaking from the edges of the film's protection sheet. You are either laminating too hot or too slow. Use acetone to remove the residue, and with a new film, reduce roller temperature stepwise by two degrees C until the problem goes away. You should always inspect your cover sheet for deformations or pits. If the post-lamination bake doesn't fix these problems, then replace the cover sheet. You have completed the ADEX SUEX lamination training video, and you are now ready to start laminating films onto your substrates.